Hello everyone, my name is Antasil, and today we'll be playing as the Soviet Union. As the Soviet Union, I'll be setting up for a Soviet Onion run. Soviet Onion is the achievement where you have to surround yourself with puppets. Now there's a few guides out there that uh, will involve releasing territories as puppets through the left revolution thingy with Trotsky. And I will not be doing that. I think it's a bit weak to play as one of the biggest and strongest nations in the game. And then make yourself smaller just to get an achievement. You need to get bigger to get an achievement. That's achieving stuff, right? So we'll take all of that stuff. In addition, we'll be making use of something that's pretty much hidden in this focus tree. Oh, well, not hidden, but you know, it's huge. This one here. Found the Comic Con. Uh, it requires you to have a few subject nations and look at the green numbers in the middle bottom. Uh, civilian industry to overlord 50% and military industry to overlord plus 50%. This is huge if you have a, a great number of puppets. So we'll be combining a great number of puppets with the Comic Con. Which puppets will we be going for? We'll start with an early justification on Turkey. Uh, drag in Romania through the guarantee, that's this part of the border covered. We'll do a focus that'll give us war goals against Iran, Iraq and Afghanistan. After that we'll take care of Japan, China, uh, Tanatu from Mongolia. The Baltics will also be a few focuses. And then there's just Finland and Poland left. Well that's endgame material anyway. By that time you're f poised to go on a world conquest. This entire strategy has been fought out for me by uh, Axel from the Bitter Seal Discord. Thank you so much, Axel, for providing me with this uh, mighty challenge. Let's have a look at the start. Our in research, let's start with the basics. But there is a big to-do list. Um, I will not be using any of, of the tanks in the early game. Will, I will use them in the late game. So I'll keep up to date with uh, electronics. Radio, obviously, the industry branch, artillery. Uh, note that we don't have a close air support. We need to research that at some point as well. Support equipment and the infantry equipment. Uh, it's a big wish list. And of course, artillery. Anti-air might at some point also be useful, but we'll get there when we get there. We'll start with building a bunch of civilian factories all the way here. Um, this will take a while to finish because I will also be upgrading a lot of infrastructure and supply stuff and I'll always kick that to the top. We'll start with... where is it, where is it, where is it? The path of Marxism-Leninism and then go to the center. And as for our military factories, I'll just put 20 on guns for now, uh, a few on Support equipment, towed artillery, I'll delete the tanks, I'll leave the trucks and I'll replace the strategic bomber with the interwar bomber and add one to fighters. This is it for now. Uh, Navy wise we'll finish the light ships that we can and if you want to make it easy on yourself just put all of these guys to finish up in Vladivostok here. Then there's the army setup. I will delete the tanks. This will free up some stuff. I will split off the motorized, and which brings me to well, create a few motorized divisions just to uh, be able to drive around a bit. I set the army up as like this: uh, three armies of 24 regular divisions, one army of mountaineers, and one regular division. One army with the motorized and the others will be added. One army of cavalry and one army of NKVD. Now to uh, keep track of my best units, I'm going to duplicate the main template and rename it to Elites. I'm not feeling original today. Make them Elites and give them a different icon so I can keep these guys apart. This, this, this will be the attack template I'll be Upgrading. I'll also give these, this uh, army my best general, Markian Popov, Popov, infantry expert and brilliant strategist. Um, he's low level. If he is about to get perched, you can probably just still save him and he will get experience soon enough. We'll put him on the Turkish border for now. 
the other two main armies will be on the Romanian border. Romania is of course guaranteeing Turkey. But the mountaineers here on the Iranian border. Put the cavalry on the other Iranian border and hope they don't have to do that much because, well, this is supply hell. And KVD divisions, well, just put them here on Sevastopol. And the motorized divisions will put here at Batubi. Alright, this is not a good supply region. If you want to fix that and you click on this transport hub, it'll improve the road, the railroad to the port and you will need to bring in supplies through sea here. But I don't have that many convoys and they're already stretched to their limit. So I want to make this region unavailable. Tick for a while, and when I then upgrade it, it will upgrade all the railroads to it. That's a lot of railroads, but trust me, you want the best supply in Turkey there, otherwise, things will not go well for you. In terms of field marshals, Tukhachevsky is almost certain to be purged, but he is a good field marshal for the early wars, we will use him. And another good general to use in the early game is yeah, figures all the way at the bottom, Vasily Chukov, because he's a brilliant strategist and only level one. He'll level up quite quickly. And just go with whatever you want on the rest. The path of Leninism and Marxism is, is done, and we'll go for the center. We're almost on 50, 50 political power. Did I mention you need to create a spy agency? Well, do so and upgrade it to get a second spy and we'll justify a war goal on Turkey. Don't forget to put all of the air force at an airport near the action and start exercising them. The airport will not be big enough, so we'll need a few upgrades. Center is done and we'll go for the Stalin constitution. Don't forget to use your army one as the, with the best stuff and the best reinforcements and set them to the elite templates. And the paranoia game begins. Now this is usually pretty random so I can't really guide you through it. Stuff will pop up and you'll have to deal with it. Also my motorized is done, we'll just add them here and exercise them with the motorized. For our future conquests, it's nice to start building a network in China. Stalin constitution is done, we'll go straight for the first trial, the Zinoviet Terrorist Center. First Moscow trial is done. We can't progress down this tree right now, so we'll head for the common turn to get some good stuff on that side. Spanish Civil War is of course always present. You'd be tempted to send volunteers, just don't do it. Uh, you need your troops and world tension is a thing in this campaign. Having said that, Spain does allow for send military advisors to Spain. This does not ca cause world tension, but will give you ticking experience, which is what you need. Military advisors are done. And we'll go for the southern thrust here, so Middle East diplomacy is first. Uh, I would like to go to a mobilization, but I prefer war economy, and I'm just missing a bit of war support here. So I'll go for improved worker conditions to get some stability. In the meantime, the justification for Turkey is done. So let's get to work. We're not even done with finishing the supply line here, but uh, it does seem we're all right-ish. Now what's the plan here? We have our best army here, which isn't that good. Um, the idea is to encircle troops where possible, not just uh, press the button and push. Um, we'll hold off on attacking Romania for now, and if they want to attack us, that's fine. We've got all the air support here on Turkey itself, so let's go. Now an easy way to start encircling is to attack this tile here and this tile here and set some of these troops to walk to this tile here and use your motorized to do the same of course. 
Also, it would be wise to put war propaganda against Turkey active since we could use some more war support. Now, these units will try to reinforce or flee. Do try to stop them. And we encircled five troops and we'll continue to do so. Another two troops encircled. <clears throat> the encirclement of the Turkish army is pretty much complete. Now, because of reasons, we don't want to capitulate Turkey too quickly. I'll explain later. So now it's just a matter of eliminating what they have as an army. So uh, a weaker army can hold this line and then we can take care of Romania. Southern Frost is done. And we are now allowed to go for... Uh, one moment, one more day. And here we are, the anti-Soviet Trotsky at center. War propaganda against Turkey is done. We switch to war propaganda against Romania. Second Moscow trial is done. And we can immediately go for the workers' dictatorship. And KVD divisions that are up here can finally do something. And we'll put them on the open border of remaining Turkey. All right, pockets closed. The NKVD can hold here, uh, take out the main army and bring them over to Romania to help out with the big push. The best help we can give them is, of course, the Air Force. I noticed I had also assigned naval bombers. That's not very useful. Just put everything on ground support here. And here, too, we don't want to push the entire line. We want to attack these two tiles here and see if we can create an encirclement. Encirclement done, close the pocket and continue. The same here, we don't want to actually capitulate Romania just yet. Alright, worker dictatorship is done. We can go for uh, addressing internal affairs for now. What's the plan here? Uh, we need to uh, weaken Romania to the brink of capitulation and not destroy them just yet. Uh, we need to be able to free up our main army to attack Iran and Iraq. Both of these are targets. And we need to do all that before July 1937, before Japan attacks China, because that will cause a spike in world tension and may lead to guarantees. And we want to generally avoid that. Still it looks to be successful. Yep, we are. Addressing internal affairs is done. I'd like to get these two here. Yeah, NKVD primacy and expand the edge prop. So let's do that. Alright, it seems about the right time to pull off the main army. The best army and put them on the Iraqi border. We will let them attack Iraq first. Mountaineer army that's been jobless here can go back to the Iranian border. They won't be doing much pushing here, but they'll distract the Iranians so the main army can push below them. Uh, there's an army of uh, horsemen here. Well, if they can push, that would be nice, but if they don't, well, just hold the line. I'm not doing anything with Afghanistan. I will declare war on them, but I really want them to go into this area. Also, with two successful campaigns of war propaganda, I can now safely go to war economy. Armies are in position. Now to vo avoid any guarantees, this is the sequence. Just declare war on all of them while the game is paused. Now that we are no longer worried about guarantees because we have caused way too much war tension, we can just finish off the Turks and Romanians. And let's start doing some damage here. And KVD primacy is done and we'll go for expand the agit prop. Romania has capitulated and we'll puppet them, of course. We have captured Tehran. Do note that it is the supply hub of this region and pretty much the only one. So you want to build a railroad network here as soon as you can and put it on the top. There's another supply up here. You will also want to connect that one. 
Turkey has capitulated and we will puppet them. Iraq is gone and they will be puppeted, of course. Japan declared on China, which allows us to go for the threat of the rising sun. We will also take the treaty here. But we will rush the military conspiracy first. And we have access to some of the paranoid and uh, edge prop stuff. And uh, there's just some very good stuff here, like we will have accomplished a high yield. We'll get more um, propaganda slots later. And that's Iran. We will also puppet them. Now there's Afghanistan. Uh, we can probably steamroll them. Do take care not to uh, send your entire army here. Uh, the supply is already too terrible for that. I believe these cavalry divisions and mountaineer divisions should be sufficient. But the main army will move all the way over here to Vladivostok. We will also set up our uh, formerly known as Romanian armies on the border of Man Manchuko. Give them attack orders. We do, there's no need to involve Mongolia. This will be easy enough. Reaccess this sea zone and we'll move the entire navy over to Vladivostok. Can you see where this is headed? Yes, you probably can. Let's justify a war goal against Menkuko. 75 days, that's quite soon already. So let's hope this uh, hurries up. It probably won't though. Doesn't matter, we'll get it done. Well, the trial of the generals, and there goes Tukhachevsky. Yeah, let's do this one. We had the snake first. Afghanistan is gone, and we'll puppet them. We had the snake is done, and we'll go for a strengthen the mobilization plan. All right, let's set up a naval invasion for Japan itself. The entire fleet should now be at Vladivostok, so merge them up into one big fleet. The army has arrived. We'll put the navy here on strike force. We will have naval supremacy for a few hours once the war goal is finished, because that's when Japan will notice that they have a problem. So whenever the war goal is finished, declare war immediately and launch your naval invasion. Strength and mobilization plan is done. There's time to fret from the land of the rising sun in between. The war goal has been prepared, declare war. Third five-year plan is disrupted, and that's exactly what we wanted. And the naval invasion is not launching. This almost always works. Yeah. Weird, weird, weird. We'll go for desperate measures, but I do think this run is a ruin. Why does this fail? This always works. Desperate measures is done. Now we'll do the Gobi Gambit. Getting naval invaded behind in our backs. We still had a reserve army here in Tanatufa. Prepare for war with Japan is done. Intervention in China can wait. And we'll go for the block of rights and Trotskyites. Block of rights and Trotskyites is done. We can get Baltic security. Finally, the naval invasion is launching. Eventually, they always do. Japan doesn't have the infinite fuel supply they are supposed to have. Let's just finish this. Now I'll just uh, steamroll the Japanese. There's nothing to wait for. I have more than enough war participation here. That's the assassination of Trotsky. Claims in Baltic is done. We'll go for intervention in China now. And we have taken Japan. Now with the insane amount of war score we have, it's probably for the best if we just <coughs> make a bunch of puppets here. So, um, let's start with taking all states. 
and selecting uh, Taiwan here, and puppeting Japan there. And select all the other stuff. China is not inclined to take any Japanese cores. They will take their own core back, of course. We'll um, satellite Korea, Manchukuo, Mankuko, Federate, Federate States of Micronesia, and Mariana Federation. That's done. China has taken East Bay. Well, they're welcome to it. And we'll just, um, you know. Restoration and development are now completed. We suddenly jumped all the way here and we can get found the Comic Con in two focuses. We'll get to that as soon as possible to get all those lovely factories from all those lovely puppets. There's uh, another thing to do here, intervention in China. There is a very big puppet to be had here and we do border them here, so well, that's something. Also, in terms of getting more and more puppets, it's probably a good idea to just, uh, you know, kick out Tanatuva and justify a war goal manually. The cavalry army, they lost division there somewhere. We'll let them handle that. Uh, it's time for evaluation so far. So I was trying to explain to you a Menguko trick that didn't work. In the end, it didn't really matter because we won the war against Japan with sufficient war score to puppet pretty much everything. I did shuffle around my generals a bit um, because I didn't want to get the cult by Stalin guys in charge. This one is still my field marshal, but here's another guy, Zukov, and he's probably a very good choice to promote as well. We can expand the elite division. We'll give them engineers. Support recon. Uh, motorized recon is nice. We can even give them armored recon because we still have those light tanks lying around. And we'll give them one artillery. And now these guys will have some real bites. Now we have borders with China with through our puppets here. And we'll probably put some divisions there as well. But we'll use the main armies to naval invade from Nagasaki and from Taiwan into the China mainland while their forces are distracted on this side here. And the NKV divisions are going to impose some diplomatic pressure on Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania. I don't really know how this ultimatum stuff works, so I'll just improve relations, make them an offer they cannot refuse, and maybe even just apply diplomatic pressure. Oh yeah. And we had 600 political power. Uh, the purchases are, are done. We finished those. Uh, so we can have a look at who's left and maybe um, put those in charge. Anyway, my point is, I can make this guy an infantry expert. So let's do that. And hire him immediately. Infantry expert, where are you? Here he is. Let's also get the concealment expert and the close air support expert. And the army reformer, 16 experience a day. Yeah, that's, that's nice. We're going through our political power quite rapidly now. This should do for now. Let's set up some naval invasions. Intervention in China is done. We'll head for the Comic-Con right now. More controlled factories than 200. We'll do that later then. We have a war goal against China. Let's get it done. I have a non-aggression pact with them. When did I do that? Tanatuva is done for. Let's declare war immediately. Tanatuva is a core, so I'll just uh, take them. Let's cancel the non-aggression pact and declare war on China. And immediately set the naval invasion order to go. All right, this one's done. Let's get the army over there. We encircled the port, that's good enough. And we encircled this port as well, but motorized has arrived. Let's check out their template, by the way. They could use some support companies. Motorized recon and engineers and support artillery. Also keep in mind that you really should go for superior firepower as a doctrine and keep your air doctrine up as well. 
take in Nanjing, Shanghai. Let's get the motorized up here and see if I can take Beijing. The Molotov Ribbentrop Pact will sign the treaty. I am a bit disappointed with the handling of Xinjiang. Well, it's a matter of just closing this deal early. And that's China, finally. We'll pop it to Xinjiang. And they have all the cores. Socialist, Socialist Republic of Xinjiang is now my puppet. Well, here we are again. I checked my notes and I'm not supposed to have Comic Con anyway. Um, Bulgaria refused, but they're guaranteed now. I'm going to demand the subjugation of the other two. We'll also kick Mongolia from a faction and justify a war goal. Ah, the entire Balkan has refused my offerings. It's not good. That's Yugoslavia. And that's it. Mongolia is not in this peace deal, it's a shame. We'll puppet Yugoslavia and puppet Greece. And that's Mongolia puppet them as well, these are not core states. Expand the fire, a red fleet is done. That gave me some dockyards and that puts me over the limit. Oh, let's hope this does not cancel because we lose factories somewhere. In fact, cancel the trade just to be sure. Uh, we're getting decent enough stuff to start building medium tanks, improve medium chassis, medium cannon. I'll go for the cheap one-man turret. Radio is a thing. Grissy suspension, welded armor and a diesel engine that I'll and This is weird. Italy declares on me despite me having a non-aggression pact with Rest and they call in Germans, of course, they do. I will attack the Germans, though. The Turkish Socialist Republic. For fuck's sake. Well, at least I can show you Comic Con. This game will be a mess. Found the Comic Con is done. Tune 49 factories, 471. That's quite a bit more than I know what to do with because my industry is now suffering from lack of resources. Now I'm not collapsing to the axis just yet, but with this kind of production, I will outstrip them by far. I will catch up on my deficit of support equipment. I'll need to get some aluminium somewhere, but one of my puppets is bound to have it. I can afford to just, you know, put 25 factories on anti-air. Put some more on this stuff as well. I just need to trade a bit now. Uh, do we have a subject? Yep, we do. And aluminium. Yeah, that's fine. And now we can work towards puppeting the rest. It's a bit of a messy video, but when world tension reaches high levels, stuff is bound to happen. And it's a longer campaign, so I'm making mistakes. Um, this is just very unfortunate. Turkey flips fa uh, to uh, join the Axis because the focus tree is still broken. This is something Paradox hasn't fixed in ages. It seems relatively simple, just add a, 
a condition that you cannot be in a faction or a puppet of anyone to join the Axis. Really sad, but I got Bulgaria. Uh, well, I got the war goal anyway. I got Yugo and Greece, and they're holding for now. And I'm cutting away slowly at the German divisions. We started recording. Weirdest thing happened. I'm in a peace deal with Poland and Hungary, and I have all the war score. Um, yeah, I'll puppet them, I guess. Not unhappy with the expansion here. My lines here are getting a bit stretched. Best news is that I managed to finish some medium tank divisions. Well, they're not too special, but they're at least cutting through German lines. Well, this is m perfectly me being lost in this enormous Soviet focus tree. I forgot to do Lessons of War, which will uh, improve significantly the performance of my army. Better late than never. Smaisley seems slow going, and objectively it is, but at some point you'll reach a breaking point where the Germans simply cannot resist you anymore, and you'll see these encirclements getting easier and easier. Oh, that's a nice pocket. All right, we have new medium tank chassis. I'm not going to wait around for the extra armor. Just going to design a better tank. We also had some improved medium cannons. We'll put on a Freeman turret uh, radio. Proof radio, yes. Special modules, additional machine guns are nice. Christie suspension, welded armor, diesel engine, increased speed a bit and increase armor. These are quite expensive to make, but we can afford them. And that's Berlin. Time for an update. I liberated Denmark, Soviet style. I'm just a war goal on Finland. There is no guarantee yet. That's a bit RNG. Still no guarantees, <clears throat> so I'll just declare on them. And see how far I can get. They'll jo join the Axis and they'll be in the peace deal. And a nice encirclement here at Bremen. And we have arrived in the Netherlands. <coughs> which we will, of course, also liberate. Oh, that's nice. The Allies declared war, I mean. And we're back. Oh, I cursed a little, got myself a new cup of coffee, and decided that this is almost game ending, not just yet. I'm at war with all of the allies. And not yet close to capitulating the Axis. That's the real complicating factor. <clears throat> I mean, at some point you'll fight the allies anyway. But it could have been prevented. That makes it so hard. Well, my cavalry army lost 19 divisions simply by being in UK territory and getting attacked right away. That sucks. Well, it seems to be happening to a lot of UK divisions as well. They're getting killed all over the place. I can't say I feel sorry for them. They're everywhere in my territory and suddenly they are being slaughtered. Some of them are getting out. I don't have the resources to actually catch them. Might try with motorized. The British invasion of Ukraine gave me an event. Well, I suppose that doesn't happen every day. Now I have a third collaboration government running on Germany. <coughs> the British are bringing in tanks. Now, this would be interesting to see how a tank battle between me and the Brits are doing. I cannot get pierced, and I can pierce them. Well, that's you now just what I want to hear, right? I've pretty much given up on this game, and I came back. I managed to capitulate the Germans. It took me 
a long time. I'm cleaning up one naval invasion after the other and I've killed hundreds of thousands even here. Romania and Greece it's starting to work on Turkey but it's 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 enormous. What is this? Free France. Oh. It's an enormous mess, but my faint hope of that is still remaining is that I will capitulate the Axis. Well, you guys, if I have to push through you to get to Italy, <coughs> I guess that's what I'll do. For a moment here, the Italians are quite happy that they're being liberated. But that's only for a moment, boys. And we're done. Oof. Traditionally, this is a mess. I don't really care about the stuff. The oh god! And time for another update. This is the update. I'm invading the UK. We are landing. The fall of London. And there they are. That's free France. Now there's just India left. I'm uh, have heavily building supply here, but it will be slow going. Not first recording of the day. But there is progress once more. UK capitulated, France capitulated, naval invasions are still rampant. Cleaning up the continent is uh, well, playing a game of whack-a-mole. It doesn't really matter. There is one major left, it's the Dominion of India, now again called British Raj, and I am advancing. Call in a Chinese send in the last armies on the other side maybe just maybe we'll make it Got Calcutta again and they're at 100% it is over sweet merciful god and here we are this will take some calculating all right I've been pretty much at this all day and it will be hell to edit, but I have made it. I have used the Comic-Con mechanics to make an invincible Soviet Union. Things didn't go as planned, but I was able to adjust and adapt because of my mighty industry and infinite resources. And that means that the world is now pretty much mine. The common turn is everywhere, except in South America and the United States. There are apparently some allies left. Who cares? They are minor. Well, I don't. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you can uh, replicate the Comic Con strategy. It's really fun to do if you're into late game mechanics. It makes you really strong and gives you a bo boss method of creating the Soviet Onion. I mean, you don't want to call releasing stuff all from your own periphery. And now we're just surrounded by new puppets that we created in this game. Much more fun, if you ask me. Well, leave a like, comment, subscribe, etc. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.